The next tool on the list is the red eye tool. Now red eye is something that happens when you're using a built-in flash on your camera. It most commonly occurs when you take a picture of a person in a relatively dark room and the person is looking straight into the camera lens. The red eye is the flash reflecting off the, per the person's retinas. Photoshop's red eye tool can be used to remove this unwanted imperfection. Um, so in order to use this, you would follow these steps, and as always, you'd want to begin by making a duplicate of the original layer so your editing is non-destructive. Then, you would choose the red eye tool. You'd use that red eye tool, and you'd click the center of the subject's pupil, and you would click on the pupil um, until it, it fills and covers the red of the, of the red eye. Um, there are... Um, pupil size and darken amount adjustments that you can make on the adjustment bar, but usually the default settings will do the trick. So um, let me show you. I have this image pulled up in Photoshop and let's go through the steps here. So we'll begin here by duplicating the background layer and making a, pop a copy of the background. And then we'll go ahead and choose the red eye tool. So for me here, um, I actually need to go into the fly out of the toolbar and the red eye tool is down here um, towards the bottom. So I'll select that and here I have the default settings also up here um, at the top of the options bar um, and these are the defaults. They should work just fine. And with the background layer selected, or the copy layer selected, I'm going to use the tool and I'm going to click. And you can see how it fills in that red just pretty seamlessly. Now the first time you do it, you may have to click a couple of times to get it to fill in. But um, for me, you just with this tool, you just keep clicking until it fills. It should gradually fill in that red area. And that's how you use the red eye tool.